Morning and welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Uh, just going to start this morning with uh, congratulations to Emma Raducani uh, with a fantastic victory in the um, American Open last night. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, qualifier and going on to win the tournament is just unbelievable and obviously unheard of. So congratulations to her. And just a bit of advice, I was just in a... Um, writing out some signatures on some caps and stuff, and it looks a bit of a squiggle, so I hope she doesn't turn into a cricketer's signature. Uh, anyway, that's a little bit of a rant over. Rant number two is India. What's all that about cats in the test match at Old Trafford? Absolutely disgraceful. And you're not telling me it's nothing to do with the IPL League, Mr Harrison. Absolute nonsense. Six days in quarantine after the end of the test match and it's seven days to start of the tournament. So no one is been having their wool put over their eyes, I'm afraid. And I think India, they're either just going to say, let's shove off India and play by yourselves or they can compensate everybody for losing all their money. Absolute ridiculous. Anyway, that's a little rant over. So let's start on the stuff that's uh, turned up this week. Um, first of all, from Aussie Andy. Um, lovely one there of... Uh, Rare, quite a rare signature of Merv Harvey, um, played for Australia on the 46-47 MCC tour, so quite a little rare signature there. And then we got got uh, Jeff Milman, who's a Knotts player, quite a well, six test matches I think he played in his career, so that's uh, another nice little signature there on a nice England card. So I put those now, when I started this autograph book up, which has got I don't know, over 100 in it now. I've just started putting things uh, from the pictures in there. But if you're going to start a book like that up again, I mean, I've just bought an exercise book and done it. So it's got a bit fat at the top. So not the ideal thing to put them in. But um, at least I've got some, there's quite a few signatures in here now. And I'm just to say, just starting to put some um, uh, photographs with it. So uh, it's coming along nicely, but uh, I'm, I'm sort of, toying with the idea of starting it again but I don't think I will there's been a lot of work put into this so um, I don't think I'm going to bother to do that it's just as good as it is I think so uh, we'll keep that uh, like that so uh, anyway next thing that turned up this week was uh, Martin's Red Rose Books catalogue there's a few books in here that are uh, not overly expensive I have to say um, so quite a nice little collector's items those in there uh, it does a good job there doing um, some rare things, generally Lancashire Cricket Club as well, so um, there's some nice booklets in there. Um, that came through this week. So that was quite a nice uh, nice week this week on the collecting front. So uh, anyway, behind me this week, I forgot to mention this crystal glass decanter last week. I put it up there, but forgot to mention it. And this is for Derek Randall. I don't know if you can read that round there or not, for Fielder of the Year in 1979. Um, obviously a great fielder and a great chap, I have to say. Um, but I've uh, also got a Wilkinson Sword uh, ceremonial dagger, which uh, was presented to him on the, uh, in 1979 for Fielder of the Year too. So quite a nice little decanter there for him. So uh, anyway, on behind me today, we've got uh, George Belden. A print there of uh, George Belden, the pioneer of uh, sporting photographs, action photographs mainly, which is a fantastic uh, um, innovation when he started doing them. So that's uh, Victor Belden there, uh, George Belden there, sorry. Middle six player. So that stays back up there. Oh, look out. That back on there properly right that's good so obviously george was responsible for obviously the victor trumper uh famous photograph i've got one of these here which is uh, fs jackson bouncing out to drive again signature on the bottom only by fs jackson unfortunately but uh, a lovely production there of uh, fs jackson so that's quite a nice uh, addition to the collection that one and the other one I've got is uh, Jane Crawford. Uh, Surrey, South Australia, Wellington, MCC in Australia. Got a set in signature down the bottom there, Jane Crawford, which is a nice uh, signature. Genuine signature there. So that's quite a nice uh, 
photograph there of Jane Crawford coming out to bat, or coming out to drive, should I say, at the Oval again. So whether that was taken on the same day as the Victor Trump one, I don't know. I doubt it, but um, you never know. So uh, it's a nice photograph there of uh, Jane Crawford. Great all-rounder. Just on the Jane, Jane Crawford front, I think I might have shown this before, but there's his uh, World War I medal there when he was in New Zealand. That's his uh, medal from World War One. There's also a golfing gold medal there from uh, 1916. Um, so he's obviously in New Zealand at the time. I think it's Saint, um, I think it's a C, GC. So uh, something there, I don't know whether any New Zealanders can uh, enlighten me on that uh, golf club in New Zealand. Probably somewhere near Wellington, I imagine. Uh, quite a nice little item there. A um, bit of sad news this week was, uh, well, last week actually, was dear old Brian Pierce, who was the author of this book here, which is Cricket at the Crystal Palace, which was a lovely um, publication. There's Brian there, unfortunately passed away. I think he was 95, I think, so he's done a pretty good job. Pretty good innings there. And it's uh, full of information, this book, if you can get hold of one. And I think I've got rid of my last one now, so... Don't come running to me as they were. Um, so, yeah, nice little, but I'd say sad news. And Brian had a nice collection. He came to the museum once and had a lovely collection of autographs, which he tried to get me to uh, add to by finding him some signatures. But I never got around to finding any signatures, unfortunately. Um, he wanted uh, people like McGregor and things like that. So, uh, pretty rare things. But uh, anyway, I got around to um, um, having a great day at the museum. So anyway, uh, that's about it for this week. Uh, this is number 95, I think this one. Uh, 96, sorry, the uh, video this week. So uh, onwards and upwards, we're getting near 100 now. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll be, uh, well, the plan is, is to get to uh, Tilbury to uh, um, show the Tilbury docks with all the ships, my bit of my passion of uh, cricket collecting, and go down there and just show uh, Tilbury, whether I'll be allowed on the docks or not, I don't know. So uh, uh, we'll wait and see on that one. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.